What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Stream number two of the day. I can do that now with the new schedule. It's kind of nice. Uh, so the last stream wrapped up. <clears throat> I figured, you know, hey, getting done early, going to spend some time with wife and baby and just relax. Um, and literally, I like ended the stream, left the office, and I see him gathering stuff. And I'm like, are y'all going somewhere? And she was like, oh, yeah, we, we got to go out and buy some stuff. So I basically ended the other stream just to find out that they were going out shopping. So anyway, start up a second stream. And today we're doing Death's Gambit Afterlife. Um, now this game, this should be pretty dope. So back when this game first came out, uh, the original, just Death's Gambit, it was 2018. And I would say that this was probably the game that got me interested in Metroidvanias. Like, if I hadn't played Death's Gambit, I don't think I would have gone on to play things like Salt and Sanctuary, or Metroid Dread, or Vigil, or, you know, really any of these Metroidvanias that, um, I, that I would say I've come to love on the channel. I, I'd say that <clears throat> my love for uh, Metroidvanias is, is probably close to my love of Souls-likes now. It's, it's a genre that I've become very fond of, and this was the one that got me into that genre. So, I've heard they've made big changes. We're going to jump in. Gamepad. Plus, I mean, we rap, we beat Dread, we beat Tales of Iron. It's like, you know, might as well. Let's do it. Let's do it all. This is a weird soul visualization. Very different from the original. Peer into soul fragment. This is very, very different from when I played it. Or even where you are. But I'm here to help you remember. So everything is going to be alright. Think back to what you dreamt of becoming. Oh shit, so this is how we like pick a class now. So, Assassin, Sentinel, that's a big-ass sword, Wizard, Soldier, Blood Knight, Noble, or Acolyte of Death. Uh, uh, I mean, I think either Sentinel, Soldier, Blood Knight, or maybe Acolyte of Death. I don't know, man. Do I gotta look up classes and shit here? I think I gotta look up classes. Hang on a second. Because I've heard they've completely revamped classes. Death's Gambit Afterlife classes. All right, soldier blocking. Oh yeah, that's right. Soldier is where you block and you get your soul energy. Um, <clears throat> Assassin was dodging to get soul energy. Blood Knight regains health that was recently lost if you can retaliate. Wizard uses abilities. Uh, Sentinel parrying gives soul energy to use abilities. Great sword damage scales with strength. Acolyte of death. Uh, killing enemies gives you soul energy for abilities and it scales with finesse. I think Sentinel sounds pretty fun. It's a great sword class that's focused around parrying. That sounds pretty dope. Like great sword parry god that. That sounds sounds pretty uh pretty good. Um so parries, blocks, zug zug. And then what was noble? I remember back in the day, I think noble was like items. Using items, yeah, using items gives you soul energy. Is that still the same? Hang on a sec. Let me look at the I think that this may this may have changed. Um, ba, 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 ba. I 
like I can't find a lot of the information I'm finding is based on the original. Is the Afterlight update free? Yeah. Yeah, which actually they gave me a, uh, even though I had it already, I didn't know it was free, so they gave me a code for it. So uh, I have a Steam code that we're, we're going to give away at some point this stream. I mean, Acolyte's obviously the edgy boy, but I like the idea of just being like a parry god. You can play test the classes before picking. <clears throat> if you enjoy slower and strategic melee gameplay, parrying gives you soul energy. Using items gives you soul energy. Killing and finesse. Zug zug. Does this get soul energy? You can quickly retaliate with an ability. If you regain health that was lost, you can use an ability. That almost sounds fun. Let me let me actually um let me see. I want to see what I played as back in the day. I'm going to pull up the back when I like first played this. Let's see. Deaths. Gambit. Um. Let's see. So in the walk. What is happening, guys? Come oh, God, my old ass mic. Uh, the walkthrough, it looks like I played with Soldier. So I was focused on blocking everything uh, to do stuff. So we don't want to do that. Um, all right, let's let's just put it to a vote. I, I like putting stuff to votes. It gets you all engaged. So we are going to play <clears throat> the choices. Let me let me see. Let me look at Sentinel test class. Swing and thrust. Swing and thrust. That bleed. How do we back out and go test other things? Um, try Blood Knight. Ooh, that thing's fast. Soul energy gain per attack increase. It's a big Zug Zug smash. How do we, uh, parry and shit? <clears throat> Shield, left trigger. I'm guessing that's also- Oh, parry. Left trigger and down button. Hmm. Staying low to the ground, and then sweeping, and then low. That looks like, that looks cool, but it also looks like I would never get that off in combat. Hmm. Alright, let's put it to a vote. So we are going to do, I think, either Sentinel, which is Greatsword, Blood Knight, which is Axe, or Acolyte of Death, which is Giant Scythe. We're just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna type out the, the weapons. That's easier than, when is the PS4 version out? I have no idea, my dude. But vote in that poll. We'll let that run for like a minute here. 
figure out what people are uh, what people are leaning towards, and you know we'll we'll take it from there. So the great sword currently winning. That's surprising. I figured more people would go for either the edginess of the blood knight or the scythe. Oh wait, nope. Scythe is pulling ahead of great sword. Blood Knight, are you stuck with that weapon the entire game? Yes. So very... Actually, I don't remember. Maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> well, Scythe is starting to pull ahead. <clears throat> I was going to say we can do a, a pull off against Greatsword and Scythe, but Scythe is starting to... to uh, Oh, no, now Greatsword's coming back. It does make choosing the right one more difficult. Sword. Imagine a weapon that's all three. A sword, a great sword axe. Sword axe scythe. All right, scythe has, I think we call it here, scythe has 5% of the vote over Greatsword and 15% over axe. Uh, you can use any weapon as long as you have the stats. I think we are, we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it in and we're going to be our edgy death boy. <clears throat> now tell me, which of these mementos do you feel a connection to? I feel like this is supposed to be death, but it's like a whole new, uh, <clears throat> it's like a new voice actor, I think. Are enchanted with elemental wisps. Using abilities increases intellect. Um, using abilities increases intellect by two for 24 seconds. Stacks up to 10. Uh, 320 lightning damage. Mm -hmm. Blind, blind you while equipped. Quick long range weapon scales with finesse. That might be the choice since the spear is finesse. Vitality by five. Negative effects down by 25%. Uh, upgrade weapons and armor. Hmm. I'm thinking we go here, giving me a, a ranged weapon. Oh no, hi. We return to the point of no return. Your death. How did this soul's death happen again? Ah, oh, yes. A poor knight enlisted on their first and last expedition. You intended to reach the source of immortality. Your company never even made it to Alduin, much less find the immortal source. Like our sister or something? I don't remember exactly the plot, but... Beast for death, come to reap <sighs> all your souls. Shame. Such a waste of soul energy. When the crow noticed who you were, he decided to give you another chance. A deal. Or am I getting ahead of myself? I can hardly keep track. What is this game about? Um, you just run around and Shrek shit. Begins. You will go on to do great things. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah, I remember there was something about uh, something involving her sister. Jesus, Jesus, God.
No one will ever fear death again. That is worth everything. Yeah, that volume is getting fucking lowered real quick. Playing dead, were you? Shame it's always the cowards that survive. Considering the fate of your men, I thought I'd do them a service. Go back to Valos. Uh, sound. By about ten percent. Better get used to it. You remember our deal, don't you? This contract will resurrect you in service to me. In return, you must do something for me. Give it time. For now, just sign here. In blood, of course. It'll take you some time to refamiliarize yourself with your body. Yeah, you the whole uh, afterlife thing is like... Until you it's not exactly an expansion. I, I think... Oh, oh, let me let him finish talking and I'll explain it. So my understanding is that they... After the game was done, they went back and they added a bunch of shit. Um, they went back and they added a ton of shit to the game, essentially like remaking the game with what they would have originally done if they had more time and funding and all that shit. I have a promo code for Steam? Steam doesn't do anything like that. Epic does, Steam don't. Yeah, it's an update to the original game that added a bunch of shit. Well, that's a big swing. I might go put on my stream pants. Yeah, so far I remember a lot of this. But I've heard there's been like class changes and ability changes and new skill trees and everything else. So I guess it's you can almost think of it like a like a mod. Trying to parry.
Wow! Oh man, he got his cheeks clapped. It's kind of hard to time those parries, but damn. Do you have a death wish? Eluding death gives you a god complex, I see. If you intend to squander your life, go right on ahead. I'm sure your men are eager to see you. But should you think twice, take one of these. They're restoring it plumes. Better or worse than Blasphemous? I enjoyed Blasphemous, but didn't love it. Um the last kindness I offer you compared to what lies ahead. I would probably say yes. Um Blasphemous was fun, but there, I had I had a well, I've heard they've actually updated Blasphemous a lot too. So <clears throat> I will say original I enjoyed original Death Gambit more than I enjoyed original Blasphemous. What what has happened with uh Blasphemous and how it's changed and all that. That is Um Hang on a second. It's a dive kick. I'm trying to remember. Parrying is... Hang on. Do I do want to do block for L1? Hang on. What do you... What do you... What do you parry with in Dark Souls? You got to hold the shield and then press a button? I'm trying to remember. It's been that long since... I'm trying to remember, like, what my good parry controls are. I don't remember. Hmm. I remember how this worked. Varger, another big old don't know. Is it left? Is it left trigger? L2 on Dark Souls? What's block then? Is L1 block, L2 parry? That's because that sounds familiar in my head. But I'm not sure. Because we could make block our left bumper. L1 block, L2 pair. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, let's do that here as well. Um, where did it go? Where did block go? Dodge, back, step, shield. So that's left bumper now. Parry is left trigger and then dive kick. Dive kick. What the hell is a dive kick? Uh What's the right bumper? Item use. I don't know what dive kick is supposed to be. Um save was l2 plus square for parry that doesn't sound right at all now it's not working huh i don't know if i can combine oh wait no left trigger and then y b and a are my abilities Y, B, and A are abilities. No, ah, shit. The controls are being finicky here. Oh, shit. I turned. Hang on. Damn it. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on.
All right. One problem at a time. First thing we're doing is we're getting our stream pants on. Then we're going to configure controls, gamepad. Right trigger, weapon two. Weapon one, X button, weapon two, right trigger, shield, left trigger. Left bumper. Wait. Left bumper is dive kick or climb. I just don't want left trigger and down button. That's fucking weird. Make it like left trigger and X. Oh, I think I got it. That, I think, I think it worked. Yeah, I did. Okay, left trigger and X and then, okay. All right, yeah, dope. We'll just, we'll, we'll do that. That'll work. I got my pants. I got my parry set up. Okay, you wanna try that again? Okay, let's try it again. This ain't going this ain't going too well. I'm missing the parries like really badly. Um, where the hell? What do I put on items? How do I throw this thing? Equip bow and secondary. Press right trigger to use the secondary weapon. Uh, okay. I thought it was... Damn, bow claps. It said that that thing was a ranged weapon. I ain't no ranged weapon. It's your first time, or did you play pre-afterlife? Oh, I, I wrote, like, the definitive guide for this game, pre-afterlife. Like, before Afterlife came out, I had the good old-fashioned Cowboy 100% walkthrough on the game. It's just been a long time. Restores all health and removes minor status ailments. Save that. <sighs> F toughness. Two strength, two strength. Keep on what I got. Ooh, okay. I can probably level up already. Let's find out. 
Um, finesse. Stamina, health, Dex. Yeah, this is Dark Souls. Ability gain, reap. Strike enemies with your scythe. Increase scythe damage by 3% per enemy hit for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. So I can get up to a 15% damage boost, basically. So you got it. You need to parry very early. The parry is a very, very early parry. We only have level 150 max in new game. My guy, that sounds like it's really far away. Well, you can only level to 150 as I'm like level three. I'm like, oh no, what? Whatever will I do? I do like the range on the scythe a lot. It is sexy range. Remember, you can actually kill that thing if you spend, like, a shitload of time. Oh, God. Phoenix. Oh God, no.
Cheesy mode! He's gonna blow up! Ah! Ah, oh, shit. Crow! I wish I could double jump. Yeah, I don't have the damage needed right now. This one won't do either. What happened to them? An explanation for another time. Seems we have a straggler. Tend to hear my enemy. I trust you won't disappoint. For your sake. You're a survivor, are you not? It is not too late. Return from whence you came. You're not the only orphan of war. But perhaps you'll be the last. Know that I do this to put an end to tragedies like yours. And if your sacrifice is necessary to my mission, then... Ow. I will grant you a swift death! Oh my god. Dude, I cannot get these berries. There we go. Bah! Oh God. What? Oh, she fucking dodged. Harry God! Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Oh God. Oh, <laughs> oh, get fucking ducked on, bitch! I don't think you're sub. I'm trying to remember. I'm almost positive you're supposed to lose that fight. Open inventory to spend it. Ability regenerates all stamina. Perfect blocking and attack gives you energy. Hmm. Ability increased damage by 25%. Soul trigger. Parry enemy dash attacks, that sounds useful. I'm unable to attack for five seconds. No soul energy cost. Three uses. That sounds pretty insane. Like, is that cheese bosses? Oh, shit. This is new. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's grab that. It's faster and the buff lasts five more seconds. That sounds like the, the clear winner. Boat, I don't know. God of War 2018 replay on PC before Ragnarok drops. I don't know, man. That's. I don't know. To be honest with you, like, I liked God of War, but I didn't play Horizon when it came out on PC. I probably won't have time for God of War when it comes out on PC. It's, time for me to go. it's Mama. It is no mother. Don't leave me. To not be a small bitch. That's right. But I'm gonna miss you. Of course it is, Soren. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be back before you know it. Here. No, you won't. Take this. So you know I'll always be close to you. Rusty charm. <laughs> Don't burn down the house while I'm gone. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I would care for a second playthrough. Plus, I think the... What, what date was it that they said? They said it's coming out. Isn't it coming out like the same time that uh, the next Monster Hunter or where the Monster Hunter Rise for PC? Because I'll play the fuck out of that. And that's that's the thing is it's like. Oh, but this bro, what's up, weirdo? Welcome, friend. Come you sure to be. Corpse shield, poison build up while blocking. Lose 10 health per second and below.
That sounds really useful. I might farm that real fast. That sounds like super, super good. No, bro, what? No, what the fuck? Trying to kill me. It's because I was, didn't have enough money, bro. What do you mean enemies nearby? I think I had to buy the pebble from him or something. Fuck you, man. I was trying to be nice. I'm not big on VR stuff. I don't think VR stuff does very well uh, from a content perspective. Because what you gotta keep in mind is with VR, no matter how much With the problem, so the problem with doing VR content, VR looks great when you are playing. VR, however, does not look as great to someone that is watching it on stream. Because when I am playing a VR game, you know, I am playing that game um, how it's supposed to be in, in VR. But somebody that's just watching a video, they're seeing it as a static image. So. It is, uh, it's actually, there we go, that thing. It's actually fairly common that, uh, trying to play a VR game, like trying to stream one, that people will get like motion sickness and shit just watching you play. We had that issue with, uh, a couple of VR games back when like I did do them on the channel. And so I basically stopped, like my Oculus just collects dust. <laughs> Because that's the, that's the problem, is... You know, I'd start playing the game, and then in the game I'm just like this, like, looking around, you know, trying to find stuff, and people are looking at the... People that are watching that statically are like, what the fuck? Like, it's very, very disorienting. I mean, I have some VR stuff on the channel. You can go watch it if you want. Probably gonna make you motion sick. Oh my god, this bitch. Come on. Come on! Harry God! Alright, how do I get up to you? I go up to you. Uh, I think I go up to you later. Alright. Boop! The idea of VR is equivalent to the weird reason there's foldable phones these days, just no point. <laughs> 
I, I mean, I don't really buy into to it. Like, I didn't even buy my Oculus. The only reason I have one is was for, like, a sponsor campaign way back in the day. Um, they wanted me to, like, play some game. And I was like, uh, I don't have VR. And they're like, we will send you an Oculus and pay you to play it. And I'm like, all right, sounds good. Now you want to know what VR is good for? Porn. Porn. Just porn. That's about it. That's the extent of uh, what what VR is good for is porn. I know you're probably like, but what about the game? Just porn. But take that lower path. That's the boss. That's the owl owl boss. Um, um, extra vitality, a uh, rusty charm, I'll pass, just a 20% more damage, we'll put that on, don't need you, or, Can't put that on. 25 soul energy, wind, kung fu, throne, absorb light. Okay. I mean, let's be honest. Porn is the reason the internet got as developed as it is. That's just common knowledge, I'm pretty sure. I guess we'll just go after the boss. I know there's more shit here, but I seemingly can't get to it. Owl King! That little one two change a The power! Air dash. Press dodge roll while holding left or right. The dash in the air. Scythe combo finisher deals double damage if under 25% health. Eh. All dark damage abilities 
cost five more energy, but damage is increased by 5%. Yeah. If you have over four stacks of reap, your main scythe combo is much faster. The effect is ab active. Reap timer cannot be reset. You cannot go a divine force ability. You cannot go below one health for eight seconds. What the fuck? Being shield broken gives 20 soul energy. Hitting an enemy with crash down. Increases soul energy gain. Scythe attacks deal 4% more damage when over 90. Uh, that sounds just silly. Let's do that. Because if I get that, then it's just like, lol. <laughs> it's literally a cheat death while your damage is boosted. It's like the goofiest shit I've ever heard of. Uh-oh. What'd you do? What'd you do, Max? You got timed out for being a naughty boy. Can I like stand on these things? I can't. Oh, the reach on that. Aldrin Halberd. Of my time. I'm like looking around. I don't think we can go to like any of the new areas I'm seeing. I figured with my little air dash, I'd be able to like get some new shit. And it's like all the same shit.
Do you see clap? What are you going to name your horse? How's Biscuit sound? Heroic rematch, level 30. Eh. We'll do that later. Oh yeah, this is like, um, this is funny. This is the, as you die in the game, bodies start piling up here. So like you come back here at the end of the game and you can get all the items because you've died a bunch. Takes a long ass time if I remember right. <sighs> Soul Rend, retreat backwards and deal damage to enemies at the end of the dash. Applies bleed for 16 fucking seconds. Oh. Oh, I like that. So it's just a backstep bleed combo. You can refigure. Yeah, we know, game. Thanks. Sounds crunchy? What sounds crunchy? Feel crunchy. I gotta shave. I got too, too much scruff. I shower after I shave, just so I can shave. I hate like shaving. Like I, I always shave when I'm in the shower. It's just you know your pores are open, the hair goes right down the drain. It is infinitely fucking easier to shave in the shower. Put that to 10. Let's boost that endurance some. No, you know what? Endurance has felt good. So I could go one, two, three, dodge. One, two, three, dodge. Yeah, my endurance is probably fine for a long time. Uh, I thought it might take another sunrise for you to arrive. Ugh. Up here. In your world, the crows are my eyes. Past the city of Aldrin lies Kershulai. Within its walls rests Cyrodiil's source of immortality. You must toll the two bells of ascension. Oh, the two bells of ascension. Just the source with a rock. Or your head, either will do. Did this game always have a map? I don't remember it having a map. This is nice. I like maps. Any difference here? Assassinate, gouge, and blink. All right, so we don't need to learn your shit. Ooh. Oh my god! I want to get that. Bear trap. Throw a bear trap. Deals damage to enemies. Has five uses. <laughs> One second cooldown. Cool. I just toss it down and people get trapped. And then I laugh at them. Oh uh, shit. Hello. Hmm. Isn't that like a boss fight right here or something? I'm trying to remember all the hidden things. Yeah, they're like, uh, they're like little drunk things.
Ne, ne, ne. I thought you had to like air dash through those, maybe not. Got his ass! Like crystal lizards. Okay, Mr. Mr. Happy. Shit, I accidentally hit a bear trap. Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, that sucked. Oh, he got off a full heal, you bitch. Oh my god. I suppose you exist in a state of death, as you mortals know. Make no mistake, you... Oh, shit. Ah. I should just kill this guy later. I mean, there's really, like, there's, that's not... Yeah, you can kill him, but I'll just wait till later. Fuck it. Turn to 
She has great sword, great sword, long sword, tome. Damn, she got a bunch of shit. Oh, you stirred the birds something fierce. You might just be the catalyst we need around here. Those gathered have grown complacent, but what's there to do when staring down death? Best we stick together in these trying times. My name's Jacko of Basilis. Jacko. Close my poultry hmm. wares, if I may. Okay, what you got, Jacko? Item oh, property. Buddy. Well, the higher a shield rating, the less. For example, a B rating blocks a higher a weapon rating. The more da great sword, great hammer, halberd, daggers, spears, slice and bow, mage tomes, and certain. Now make sure you level. If you find an enchanter, you can also upgrade. Only weapons, helms, boots, and capes can be. If you feel you have a lot of useless items, you should find. Now carry on. Damn, that was a lot. Uh, dragon berry removes poison. Crystal bomb. I need to get these these tombs. Cinder bow magically infuse bow fire damage over time. That sounds really good. Um, steel great hammer casting tome zealot's cape. So it's like the starter gear. Armor scrap. I bloom into a flower that creates a creature of Gaia. Consuming this gives a talent point. Dope. Shield of Warding? Mm. Cool. Yeah, the soundtrack for the game is really nice. Look at that view. What are the uh, more memorable things? Shadow of your ego. You can hide your ugliness, but not from your world. This guy's like peak try hard. Shit, no, I fucking. Oh, bro, if you get okay. Dude, this shield cannot block at all. God. Heroic lunge. I don't even use swords. Uh, let's see what we've picked up. Spellblade, 15 int katana. Says more damage. Two strength. Forty damage. The spear has more than forty damage. Oh. 
You ever had Nashville hot chicken? Yeah, it's overrated. Oh my god. Slide to break shields, but that's a that's an ability we need to pick up. Oh, hack wall briefly. Uh, let's see. Trigger for shield and to both of our benefit if you stopped dying. Go slide your Phoenix plumes at my hand if you've lost them. Y'all being a little explodey. Off that ship. I don't even remember setting that up. Dive kicks left bumper. Left trigger and right trigger. Yeah, I would see left trigger, right trigger together for the slide kick. Shield that couldn't block, basically. <laughs> Check out Gloomhaven. That name sounds like vaguely familiar. Does your wife play games? Yeah, she plays this game called Feed the Baby. It's where she has to feed the baby. Um, how do I harvest them? All of your attacks are now dark elemental type attacks, but you no longer gain soul energy. Last 20 seconds. Long sword, 60 strength, you crit. We have set more base damage. If you take damage while it's out, the effect is removed. Great sword, 40 strength, throwing daggers.
Oh. I get over here. I know where I'm at now. I want to play this. That's good. I do not know when it's coming to PlayStation. Ooh, can't do that. <clears throat> I think I might go get more Halloween candy. Maybe make a coffee? I don't know. I hadn't planned on doing a double feature stream originally. It just kind of worked out that way. Like, well, here we are. Might as well keep going. Yeah, I don't know if the PS5 could handle this game, actually, now that you mention it. Now the Switch. Come on, man. Switch, there's a superior console experience. Halloween candy and coffee. Yeah, double dip. Hey, what time is it? 6.30. Yeah. I told Paige I was probably going to wrap up around 7. It's like, do I bother getting a coffee if I'm ending the stream in like 30 minutes? Really depends when she's home. Switch 2 comes out. I think I'll actually call it the Switch 2. I bet it'll have some weird fucking name knowing Nintendo. It'll be like the Switch Up because we're switching up our coding to make a whole new product that you don't need. <laughs> oh wow, thank you. Switch Up. Swatch. I think it's the music too. The music in this game is like so peaceful. It's like something I listen to if I wanted to take a nap. Like it's not too intense. It has like some nice rises and then some some dips in the melody and uh, hello, shield man. Oh no. This guy shoots laser beams. Equip stronger healing feathers. Scythe plus two? Uh, yeah. I'll fucking put that on right now. Why do I have... Wait, hang on. Hang on a second. Why does it say one? Do I have one talent point? I can't go this far, but I could pick up... 
So I do have a point, but I can't get repaced. That's weird. Why can't I get that? Uh, in that case, uh, Phoenix Plume Energy, fourth ability slot, 20 more arrows, light arrow, double soul energy, yeah, probably, probably, uh, I could probably the upper tree, I guess. Let me, uh, what's this one? Being shield broke gives 20. I don't want to get my shield broken. Actually, hitting an enemy with crash down. Sight attacks. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get that. Mm. Oh, my aching bones. Not one for salmon. Give me a moment to recover. Find me back at sanctuary. And oh. Yeah, I'm not going to take a break, but I'm going to go grab some... I think I'm... I think because I ate all of that candy during the other stream, I think I'm like sugar crashing, which means I need to go load up on more candy. So I'm going to grab like some Kit Kats and shit. Oh, true. The scythe. Let me put on the new scythe. That's the whole reason we uh, we went here in the first place, right? All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a bunch of candy. I did the easy solution, which was just grab the entire bag. 
They're like, like you know, I'm the per I've, I'm the one that's eating all of these Reese's. I might as well. I might as well just have the whole fucking thing. Now we have this. Just look. Yeah, that's lit up. <clears throat> I'm almost positive we have devastation side. Borrow him? Oh, huh. Well, shit. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Genova? Like a booty legend. This is, uh... Bring some people. Fuck me, man. Know if there's a respec. Like, can I respec single abilities? There's no fall damage. Oh, I know. Salton Sanctuary. Um, if you want to be an overpowered god, just use the Great Scissors. connect these I guess first this game's already out it's on Steam go to Steam you can buy it oh fuck that thing hurt oh my god Was not fucking around, dude. <laughs> Barbaric album. I really wish left bumper changed the things. Four bit, four strength. Sure, put it on. Gonna put that on. I don't know what else strength is used for, but it's something. The way this is going, I'm like, I should have just been a strength boy. Oh god, fuck you!
to know how to respec <clears throat> can I do well I know there's a respec I don't, is there a partial respec I mean I guess it doesn't really matter I don't have enough points to get the super death mode perks anyway this early in the game I think I need like double dash or some shit to get over there. Phoenix Rider! Respec will give all talent and attribute points back, but not change class. <clears throat> and what about the change class thing? I mean, I would need to find the merchant that sells axe abilities. If I changed class, I'd probably go to the Blood Knight thing. The fuck is that? Oh god. Yeah, we're killing that with a bow. I ain't going near that. Yeah, this is... I don't remember... I don't think I remember this. This isn't... Damn, this isn't ringing any bells. Oh... This has got to be a new area. Oh god. Oh fuck! Why don't you die? Oh no. Yeah, I'm definitely watching Doom. Anyway, someone asked if I had watched Venom 2. I haven't yet. I'm just waiting for it to come to, like, HBO or something. I just, I don't... I'm not big on movie theaters. I like movies. But in general, I just... Because the thing with movie theaters is I feel like when I go to a movie theater, I feel like I am stuck in that chair for, like, two hours. You know? Because if I need to get up and pee... Too bad. The movie's not... Oh, fuck. If I gotta pee, the movie's not gonna stop. If I need to get another drink or more popcorn to... Ow! Oh, 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 stop that! Ow, oh, you bitch! You know, it's just... It's a... It's a lack of... Oh, fuck. Hang on. I need to... Alright, we are fucked, bro. about spin to win oh 43 essence gain i think i need to like get her to that threshold i mean my the, the theater fuck i need a better better thing than this the theater nearby where i'm at like it's a nice theater don't get me wrong i mean the seats are the seats are comfy and you know there it's i guess you could describe it as a luxury theater um but it's still it's not I guess when I say comfort, I should say convenience. Like, if I'm watching a movie at home, right? And I need to suddenly pee, I can pause the movie. If I'm watching the movie at home and I'm like, you know what, I think, I know I didn't get popcorn, but I think I want some popcorn. I can pause the movie and go get popcorn. Um, you know, I can do whatever is, is needed. And the thing is, I'm a very, 
like ADHD person. I mean, just look at this stream. I'm like, oh wait, need some candy. Oh wait, gotta go get another drink. Oh, my drink's empty. Oh god, like I'm just going all over the place, you know? That's just, that's just who I am. Um, so when you go to movies and it's like, all right, fucking chill out for like two hours. Like, I, I can't, I struggle with that. But watching a movie at home, like laying in bed, being able to like pause it and whatnot, yes. Fuck yes. Any day of the week, that is, sign me up. So it's not so much a comfort. Yeah, definitely convenience over comfort. I mean, I'm not talking about, I'm not saying ADHD is just me getting drink refills. I'm just saying that. In general, I am the type of person who's going to take constant breaks in what he's doing. And it's very rare that you will get me to play one thing for an extended period of time. Uh, focus on anything, whether it's a game, reading, you know, watching a movie, it doesn't. I am just, I, I take frequent breaks. I can't stay focused on any one thing for too long. Oh, fuck. That's bullshit. That thing should get torched by the fucking fire. Fuck, bro. I'm dead. No, stop. Stop. This place sucks dick. Fuck. Oh my god. Get me away. I need- there has to be a thing. Nope. Fuck me. I don't remember having to go through that giant corridor of bullshit to reach her in the past. You are unworthy to stand beside true immortals! Burn your soul to ash! Stop that. read what your class skill was you can upgrade and scrap at save points uh what do you mean class skill probably not what do you mean class skill what, what do you mean by class skill like my thing where i get energy from killing stuff that is that what you're talking about figure out my dinner plan too. Sky tomb. You can rebuild broken death statues. Is that like like part of me? Part of me being a uh, an edgy boy?
Hang on, let me go back to that statue. Was that a death statue? Ah. So how do we, how do we, what, what's our, what's our magical, do I need to like use, is it a special item? Requires 16 finesse. Oh. With the scythe? Doing what? Is this even a death statue? I don't think, I think that's just like a tip stat. I don't know. I ain't worried about it. You should be able to use the interact button even though there's no prompt. Maybe I don't get it until later. Maybe it's a like, oh, you've become accustomed to death enough. You can have new abilities now. Look. Ah. Oh, come on. Don't ladder camp. That's that's stupid. Nobody likes a ladder camper. Blood, all right, blood chest, let's go.
Have you done the perfectly timed block attack yet? Yeah, I think so. Let's try it. Like that. Is that what you want me to do? I am a bigger fan of this! I mean, like, honestly, why perfect block when you can parry and get a sick fucking counterattack? Oh no, I don't want to go here. Never mind. I mean, you can counter with him, but I guess perfect blocking versus a boss, maybe. So I know you can't parry everything. Combo finishers heal for 5% when above 70% health. Ooh, fuck yeah. That sounds sexy, bro. Augment plume. Oh, this is the thing where I, uh, I give... Oh, I got augment. Let me talk to this dude. Zuma, I... What? No, I trade a path of spirituality. I can disenchant clutter in your inventory. In and can offer guidance regarding your new found... Oh, we'll just come over and we'll bongo. I don't care. Well, I can already upgrade on my own, though. And I could also already scrap shit on my own. Um, meditate. Someone was saying meditate, let me do like respecting shit. I mean, all I would do, I would just pick this up, which is worth it. How do I, how do I, yeah. Learn ability. Essence of darkness. Create an orb of dark, 32, fuck. Yes, meditate is respec. Okay. Well, hang on. I'm meditating. What do I... What do I gotta press to... Meditate for a while? Come sit. So, I just basically leave the controller alone is what you're telling me. What the fuck? Oh, that works. Mm, dope. Put that at 10. Put that at 5.
I can't really do the whole sky tune thing yet. I couldn't even I couldn't even make it over there. So that's something for later. Um let me try making my way up there. <clears throat> can't even get up that high, bro. Alright, uh, I guess we go Central Sanctuary next. fucking tough now. That's pissing me off. Oh shit! Okay, that's what perfect block does. Flippity fucking clap, dude. So I guess, I guess the bet my my thought here is you probably if you can parry, you want to parry. If parrying is not an option, instead, your next best bet is just a perfect block. Far Cry 6 is real easy. That's probably my biggest complaint with it. Like, the AI in the game is fucking terrible. Like, I still, I still had fun playing it, but yeah, the AI needed to be a lot better. It was pretty bad this time around. I don't know, I feel like it was somehow worse than, uh, in other games. Oh, you bitch. Yeah, heal up. Let me build my stacks up. I forgot that you get to bullshit in your wings. Vildradre great sword. Ha, can't even go that way. So there's the low path or the high path.
Pl what? Please gib dragon grass? What the fuck? This is fucking long, bro. Long sword, long sword. Daggers, daggers, daggers. Axe. Unyielding strike. Slow, heavy smash consumes all your energy. Damage dealt increases as more energy is consumed. Increase energy jam by attacks for the next 10 seconds. Dash forward and deal damage to enemies at the end of the dash. Enemies are set on fire for 8 seconds. Throw your axe. 30 second cooldown. Fuck, those are good. Spin your halberd. Jump into the sky and crash. Spear Rush, Serpent's Barrage, Bow, Multi Shot, True Arrow, Piercing Light, Great Hammer, Great Sword. This guy has like everything except for Scythe abilities. Like, oh, Scythes? Only losers use safe points. Boy, for a Harbinger of Death, you sure are intimidating. He's pretty good. He's died less than you. Huh? Lumberkin are natural scavengers. Damn. You're my horse. I kind of want to buy the axe shit. I would need what, 2700? Did the upper path, so let's take that little thing and then we'll go down, I guess. Yeah, if I if I picked up the axe abilities, I'd need to get I don't even have an axe. I would need to get an axe. And then after getting the axe, I would need to respec. And after respecing, I would also need to uh respec stats, get an axe, level it up, get abilities. perk I have four stacks of reap um
That's blocked off. Die, bunny. Hmm, gain 70. What the fuck? Just instant 70 soul energy, bro? Sign me up. I can't even go that way anyway, but that sounds dope. Like, fuck the bear trap, dude. Just energy! That's enough to instantly dump out three fucking scythe smashes. We won't be alive in 2077. It's not that far away. I mean... Mm. 56, I'm what, 34 now? I'd be 90? Like, I'd be fucking old, but I could probably make it. YouTubing. What's happening? It's your boy. We're playing Dark Souls 23 today. I sure can't parry like I used to anymore. Damn these old bones of mine. There's still, and there's still be some nerd in chat that's like, I remember back when Cowboy used to always talk to me on stream and now he just he he ignores me like, and I'll be like what <laughs> who are you <laughs> just bitching oh Christ well you'd be surprised how much I get that like I don't I don't get it's like it's the it's the one comment that always throws me off but like occasionally I'll get somebody that's like yeah I used to like watching your content but now your your fame has just gone to your head and you don't talk to your fans anymore I'm like what the fuck like bro I answer like countless YouTube comments per day stream almost every day reply to people on Twitter but I'm not interacting with my fans? Like, what in the fuck, dude? Like, you need to stop. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from, but you need to stop. Mm, do I want more endurance? I mean, my stamina feels pretty good. Maybe haste for some cooldown rates? Shoot the flying lizards before they fly away, you get the upgrade maps. Let me work on getting my vid up some. No, actually, we're just gonna go fucking pure damage. We're gonna go kill that lizard, and then I think we might wrap up there. Because I hear baby upstairs being like... Blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't know. I think we're close to bulwark. I don't remember. Ooh, ah, ah. Immortal light stone. Oh, give me your goodies. He's he's a baby biting, itty biting baby. Take your shield right out. Press attack right after to do finishing strike. Ugh. Rose ties piss me off. Can't get down here. 
Bro, people love, love, I think I've, like, ping, people have Discord pinging me, like, the last four streams, like, hey, I had a question, and I'm like, why not just, like, come to the stream? Serpent's Barrage. Man, that thing, it fucking claps those guys. Damn, dude, this spear, this spear has more damage than my fucking scythe. That's insane. Damn! 65 damage on this thing. Do I scrap it? I keep like hanging on to gear like, oh, I wonder if I'll use this at some point. At the same time, I'm like, no, I won't. Music hits hard, right? Insolent mortal, your struggle is meaningless. Only one has entered Haldwin in recent memory. Your conviction pales in comparison. <laughs> I said you's a Only bitch. Death. The ascended will not hear your pleas. I don't want to talk about it. Got your ass beat. I don't want to talk about it. Schmaggy. With the champion of booty. Yeah, this is Bulwark. Let me, um... Let me go back to the statue, rest up. We'll, we'll try and kill him before I wrap up. I remember, I think I remember his fight being a lot about just, like, dodging sky bullshit. And, um... Like, killing angels or something. Just a 75 second cooldown to instantly give yourself a fuckload of energy. I like it. Um, I'll scrap. We will... How much finesse did I need for the Blades of the Phoenix? 16 finesse? Like, I need to find something to just smack with this. Ooh, I can hear him yelling. Where are they at? Ew. 
I figured at like the very least they would have like poisoned the guy or something. That's just disappointing. Yeah, baby's being high hollering. Well, so, so the problem, like I said, is he'll he'll bite. Paige will tell him no. She'll like put him inside of his crib, and then he's like, "No, not the crib." Oh fuck, holy shit! Damn! I was like, oh, it's gonna be easy, I'll beat his ass. Dude, he fucking ended me. Yeah, you can refight the bosses. It's like a heroic challenge type thing. The thing is, my damage was there. Like, I, if I don't get hit by that thing, I think I could actually beat it. I just gotta get to the thing. And then, let me show you. Yes! Since we already know he's going to one-shot me, we are going to remove all of our healing and instead boost our damage! Getting caught like on top of the, the, <laughs> I just like literally sat there and just took the portal to the face. Let me go to get the other boss. We've we've killed this guy. I'll I'll do the challenge runs later. I don't need to. I don't even remember what you get for it. I think it's like rare upgrade mats or some shit. So it's like we gave game another life. I guess? I don't know. I I assumed that there was just like additional uh stuff in the game involving death. Yeah, I mean, he's been like a super easy baby until now. The bi I mean, the biting thing, he'll grow out of that eventually, you know? Like, I bite him back. He tries biting me, I'm like, ah, and he's like, ah! I'm like, don't bite. You don't like teeth on you? Then don't put your teeth on me, little dude. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god. I mean, obviously, I'm not, like, biting him to hurt him, but, like, I'll be like, ah, oh, and he's like, ah, it's funny. Well, he's not, he's not biting because he's teething anymore. He's got his little teeth in. He's just biting because he's an asshole. Know your place amongst the rabble who claw at our gates. Hell awaits. The Bulwark of Alduin.
Dude, holy shit, look at how fucking fast I'm going! Sight is insane. You remind me of her. Bruh. Holy shit. Once I got my four stacks, my dude was just straight up fucking anime mode. He was like bang 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 just tearing shit up. And we're basically like god now cuz you cannot go so when I'm about to die, I basically now get 8 seconds of immortality. And my combo finisher is going to deal double fucking damage the whole time. And I'll have stacks. So I'm just like, shank, 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 shank. Dude, Scythe is, not going to lie, Scythe's kind of fucking broken, man. I don't know what, uh, I can't speak to the other stuff, but Scythe, Scythe uh, might be a bit OP. Why can't I get that? Come on, grab the ledge. I don't know how broken Katana is, but Scythe's plenty broken. I think I did wizard back in the day and I remember it being like just like oh wow this is fucking dumb of how like just ridiculously strong it was Well, there's some stuff to do. Um, I th if I remember, I think right now the, the best thing to do would probably be to like go back. I can probably go over there now with my double jump. Uh, there's also all the shit that's that's after this guy. I uh, couldn't go down there. Couldn't go down there. There is some stuff back here I can probably get now that I have access to double jump. Cooldown reduction. Uh, it's only like oh, that's not bad. Put it up to fifteen percent cooldown reduction. If I could get that to like twenty, it'd be nice. Actually, I do want my endurance a little higher. So yeah, I think we'll wrap up here. This seems like a pretty good spot. We've knocked out a couple of the starter bosses. Uh, we got air dash. We got double jump, which I think that opens up our. Um, 
that opens up our ability to kind of free roam a lot easier, I feel. You know, we're going to be able to be like, boop, 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 jumping around and shit now. So, yeah, we'll wrap things up here. Um, tomorrow, we got a sponsor stream. Friday, we're going to be doing the For Honor event, but I might do more of this Friday during the day. This is going to be my new, like, filler stream game, you know? How we, how we banged out Metroid, and then we focused on Tales of Iron. This is also going to take that same slot. So basically, any day I don't have something planned with the boys or like a sponsored activation or something, we're probably going to be doing some Death Gambit. So anyway, uh, tomorrow, yeah, I'll see you all for the sponsor stream tomorrow. Otherwise, have a nice night. Catch you later. Peace.